everyone and welcome back to another Meta Jungle NFT Artist Spotlight episode. My name is Jaden or Boss Mom 99 and I am so, so excited and honored to be able to bring you two more artists today. And they are going to be Christian Hoiberg and Manet Everin Ertrigal. And I've had such a fantastic time getting to interact with these artists and learn a little bit more about them. And as I said before, I'm so excited to be able to tell you guys a little bit more about them. So let's go on ahead and get into it. The first NFT artist we're going to be speaking about today is Christian Hoiberg. Christian is a landscape photographer based out of Lofoten Islands, Norway. Um, he has been capturing photographs for 15 years now, and he really loves capturing cold and wild landscapes. Christian has had a really successful journey as a photographer, and his pictures have been used for everything from book covers to decorations in airports, offices, homes, and cabins. So seriously, how cool is that? Um, but Christian's also known for being behind CaptureLandscapes.com, which is a website where he's written articles, ebooks, and developed courses for landscape photographers. Uh, he's also an ambassador for brands such as Nysai, Valorant, Datacolor, Naya Evo, and has had clients such as Heinemann, Adobe, Porsche, BenQ, Synology, and if I pronounce any of those names wrong, I apologize. Um, but let's go on ahead and learn more about this journey from Christian himself. Today's Meta Jungle NFT artist is going to be NFT photographer Christian Hoiberg. Hi everyone, my name is Christian Hoiberg. I'm a Norwegian landscape photographer based in the Lofoten Islands of Arctic Norway. So I'm on a mission to showcase the beautiful natural places that our Earth has to offer and especially the Arctic, colder, rougher, more rugged regions. So I want to show that it's not just the tropical sandy beaches that are the beautiful places of our Earth, but also these wilder landscapes are as beautiful and I really want to show people that there's so much our planet has to offer. And I know that not everyone is privileged enough to be outside spending time in these places. So I hope that I can bring these places just a little bit closer to you. So thank you so much for being part of this journey and I hope that you enjoy my photography. Wow, that video was so, so wonderful. I really, really um, enjoyed getting to know more about Christian and I love how authentic authentic he is um, and how much you can see that he really really loves and admires these landscapes that he shoots through this video but honestly with landscapes as as beautiful as the one that he showed us and he was working on capturing in this it's no surprise that he's had so many awards and achievements for his work so um, let's go on ahead and check out some of that work so here we are on Christian's OpenSea profile as you can see he has four collections they're 68 North the additions the noise inside 68 North a visual journey through the Lofoten Islands and 68 North collector editions the first collection we're going to look at is 68 North the additions this collection is made up of one item with 29 owners and a floor price of 0.035 ETH uh, this piece is an edition of 40, and it's such a beautiful piece. Um, both Nifty Metagirl and Alpha Trilogy are collectors of this edition as well. Um, but let's go on ahead and take a look at the next collection, and it's going to be The Noise Inside. This collection is made up of 25 items with two owners and no current floor price. This collection is absolutely incredible, and I think the story behind it is really, really beautiful. He says that this collection is about the noise that cannot be hushed in your mind. And this is how he is letting the noise out. And I think he does such a beautiful job at that. Um, but the third collection we're going to look at is 68 North Collector's Editions. This collection is made up of two items with 10 different owners. And this collection is really, really cool because it is actually the way Christians decided to reward the collectors of his 68 North A Visual Journey Through the Lofoten Island series. Um... And I think that that's really cool. So A Moment of Calm is actually a 10-piece edition that he airdropped to uh, multiple collectors. But the rewards, which is the piece you see right here, is a prize airdrop to Alpha Trilogy for his purchase of image number 19 and in the above-mentioned collection. So I thought that's really, really cool. And I'm curious to see uh, maybe the other airdrops that kind of follow along with that. So can't wait for that. Um, but the fourth and final collection we're actually going to look at today is 68 North, A Visual Journey Through the Lofoten Island series. 
This collection is made up of 25 items with 13 different owners and a floor pr price of 0.2 ETH. Um, I really, really love this collection. I love how well um, Chris is able to capture the Lofoten Islands, and I believe that you can just really see his love shine through for where he's from and um, his admiration of his home, and I think that's so cool. Um, but you can also really see his fascination and admiration for cold and beautiful landscapes through this collection. And it makes total sense why he admires them so much because they are beautiful. And um, I I just think it's incredible. And I hope one day I live somewhere as beautiful as this, Chris. But uh, we're actually going to take a closer look at 68 North, number 19, The Storm. This piece is owned by Alpha Trilogy. And like I mentioned before, this is actually the one that had the reward behind it. So um, that's really cool. But I think that this piece is so beautiful. I love the detail captured in this photo. And I really, really love uh, how Chris took a moment that some might find scary and make it so peaceful and soothing. Um, but I also think he does such an incredible job describing the moments that lead up to these captures and the feelings that he felt during this capture and it in each individual description and that's something I really admire and I really love as a collector and just a onlooker I think it's so cool to be able to kind of read a little bit more about the moments behind these and um also like what the artist was feeling when they captured it so I think that's really really cool and I think that's another thing that Chris does really really well with the piece that he shared with us that if um collectors were looking at his work for the first time he feels like would really showcase his work well so let's go ahead and take a look at that and this is the piece. And when asked why he chose this piece, Chris says that most of his work is focused around Arctic Norway, the region where he lives. And this image is what best describes the area. It is the Lofoten Islands. Uh, he refers to this post for the full story about this image and why he chose it to, and why he chose to have it as his first edition. So be sure to go check that out because it really is a beautiful story. And um, I, I love it. So I'm so glad he shared it with us. But uh, Chris joined the NFT space in June 2021, and he's ha and he's added so much to the space. Christian is such a supportive member for all members of the NFT space, and he is such a talented photographer, and I cannot wait to see his continued success and growth in the space. So thank you so much, Christian, for allowing me the opportunity to connect with you and to learn a little bit more about your journey and your work. It's been a pleasure, and I'm so glad that you gave me the opportunity to share it with other people, so thank you so much. But the next NFT artist that we are gonna be spotlighting today is gonna to be Manet Everett Urchigrel. And Manet is a photographer based out of Instable, Turkey, and has been for 10 years now. Uh, she loves to shoot street photography, travel, and documentary photography. She says that she loves these genres of photography because she likes communicating with people, and I understand that because I love communicating with people and being able to um, tell their stories. And that's what Manet does through her photos. She captures their stories and emotions and tells them through her photographs. And I think that's so cool. Um, but she really says that she loves sharing these photographs with them so that she can show them um, what she's capturing and that their happiness when they see these photos makes her very happy as well. So she'll actually print out their photos, send them to her models, and ensure that she's expressing herself and them correctly, which I think is so, so cool. Um, but let's go on ahead and learn a little bit more from Manet herself. Today's Meta Jungle NFT Artist Spotlight is going to be NFT photographer Manet Evren Urchigrel. Hello everyone, my name is Mine. I am from Turkey, I live in Istanbul. I graduated uh, from the Faculty of Business Administration at the Department of Photography. I am retired. Uh, I started photography 10 years ago. I got the title of OFIA. I love shooting documentary street and travel photography. I have received many awards in international and uh, national for competitions. I have exhibitions. I was a ju judge in photography competitions. I received the honorable mention and the Siena International Photography Awards. I was a four-time finalist in the HIPAA International Photography Competition. 
I got the second place in the Iran Mental Health Photo Contest. I am communicating uh, with people. Two months ago, I entered the world of Twitter and NFT with my Istanbul and Snow collection. I shoot this uh, collection in the touristic areas of Istanbul on cold winter days for seven years. I uploaded my second collection a month ago. The name of this collection is Morning Ceremony. I tried uh, to show the sadness and the outcry. My morning ceremony photos were published in the newspaper. My photography journey is not over yet. Thank you Meta Jungle for supporting artists. I don't know about you guys, but I really, really, really love this video. I loved having the opportunity to learn more about Monet, her photography journey, and her award-winning work. Um, I thought it was really cool to see all the different work that she shared with us, as well as the p or as well as these pieces and the awards that they won. And um, the other really cool thing I thought um, that I thought was really cool that Monet shared with us is that she shoots her work in her city that she lives and she travels from many cities from the east to the west of her country to take these photos and produce these stories. And this is how she's come up with a lot of her projects. She wants to share the culture of where she's from. And I think that's so cool. Um, so let's go on ahead and check out some of these projects and some of these stories. But as you can see here, we are on Monet's OpenSea profile. She actually has two collections, and they are, they are Instable and Snow and Morning Ceremony. Now let's take a closer look at Instable and Snow. This collection is made up of eight items and currently has one owner. There are still six photos available on the primary market for 0.15 ETH, so be sure to check that out. Um, but this collection is really, really beautiful, and I love all the different people, emotions, and moments that Monet was able to capture in the streets of Instable. Um, the next collection that we're going to take a look at is Morning Ceremony. This collection is made up of eight items with two owners and a floor price of 0.15 ETH. And I thought this collection was really, really interesting. Um, she documents the Ashura Morning in this collection. And this was an event I was curious to learn more about after I saw this collection. And I feel like Monet did such a great job informing us about it through these photos she captured and also capturing such incredible um, emotion-provoking photos. But now we're actually going to take a look at the ceremony. This piece is owned by Alpha Trilogy, and it's such a beautiful piece. Monet captures the moment and emotions that were taking place so well, I think. And on top of that, she goes on to describe this photo, what is happening, and a little bit more about the event so well in the edition description. And I love this because Benet tells us how she enjoys capturing and telling the story of her home. And I feel like this is a really incredible example of her doing that. But another really incredible example, I feel like, of this is the photo that she shared with us that if collectors were viewing her pieces for the first time, she feels like would really showcase her work well. And this is the piece. And when asked why she chose this piece, she says, I took this photo at the Ashura Mathame ceremony. Uh, light conditions were really difficult, light colors were constantly changing, and it was a very difficult uh, thing to shoot, and clarity was also very difficult to achieve. There were hundreds of photographers, the place was very dark, it was tough, but she pulled it off, and she thinks it reflects emotion, sadness, and grief very well, especially the woman's raising her hand and the children's gaze in the background. She also thinks that the color tones are simple and impressive. And I agree completely. I think that between all the different aspects of this, it really does showcase emotions and the event very, very well. And I'm so glad you shared it with us. Um, but Monet got involved in the NFT space in March of 2022. And during this time, she's had much, much success and grown so much in the space, which I think is so cool to see. Uh, Monet says that she loves the space because she's always working hard to keep up with the digital age and there's always something new to learn. She enjoys the opportunity of, to learn something new that will help her continue to be successful. And I think that's so cool because I love having the opportunity to learn and being able to learn alongside other people that uh, thinks that this opportunity is so cool is just, it's amazing. It's, I love being able to learn and grow with everybody. So um, whenever other people just say that that's something that's so important to them and something they think is so cool, I just, I think it's really admirable. 
But Manet, I'm so glad to have had the opportunity to speak with you and to kind of get to um, go alongside you with your journey in the NFT space. I think it's so cool and I love watching you grow in it every day. So um, thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity to share a little bit more about you and your work with everyone. And thank you both so much for um, allowing me to connect with you guys and share your work. I've had such a great time. You both are so incredible, so talented. And um, I just really, really appreciate it. And I am so thankful for the opportunity. So thank you guys again. And if anybody else would like to connect and uh, be one of our artist spotlights, you can reach out to me. It's BossMom99 on Discord and Twitter. I would love nothing more. Um, but with that, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And I can't wait to bring you two more artists. So bye, guys. See you next time.